Here's the lineup for semi final number two Johan Christofferson on pole with Balmanis alongside him. Solberg, the world champion, Kevin Erickson, one of the new young drivers next to him. And on the back row, Liam Doran in the mini and Ken Block in the Focus RS RX. Thumbs up, the air horns are on, the lights are about to come on. This is going to happen. Too many. Well, it has. So oh, oh, he's oh, 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 He's gone. It's a shame he was in fourth place. Ericsson there. It was all fair racing, but he's ended up off in the dirty stuff. And Brock now trying to chase. They're all very, very sideways. That tyre broke from the rear guy. Is it enough to cut the tyre rod off? Well, no, the the bumper's folded under the rear. I don't think it is unless it's a bit of metal work. But these are built for running cross. They use Solberg. that contact. Sorry, Solberg changed his mind. Solberg looked like he was going into the Joker. He saw Chris Johnson go, and he bailed. And he's so close. He Absolutely fantastic for him. He, he's a great driver. Don't worry too much about this. As well, I say, don't worry yeah, too much. It's bellowing at high speed. You can obviously, smell it, guys. Yeah, it's punching, it. isn't it? It really does smell up here in the commentary box. But uh, yeah, he's, he's a fantastic uh, star for him. He's out. He's clear. Peter Solberg is conscious. Bow Manis is having a great weekend. Absolutely really yeah. holding on to Peter Solberg strongly here. Let's see what happens. So around the hairpin. All six cars still in this one, block somewhere near it. And the opportunist okay, in this group is obviously Liam Duran, 1.6 engine still, he is just waiting for a two litre, but still he wants to pick up the pieces. Good performance by him this weekend, we've seen him be up dragged on a few of the straights, he's trying hard in the corners, Guy Wilkes knows of course he took that mini to the final in Lyndon Hill last year, he knows it handles well. Christopherson's got Solberg right up behind him, but Solberg hasn't jokered yet, neither is Bell Manis in third place, everybody else has. Doran has a look up the inside of Bell Manis as they go round towards the final corner. Can't quite go through. Liam really can wait though because if he's that near to Bell, oh, Chris Thompson, look at the smoke. Is it going to last? This is. It's, he's got three laps to go. Yeah, it seems to be when he comes down that long straight down to the Sachs curve here at the Hockenheim ring, and not really anywhere else. It's obviously unloaded now. High speed, now. isn't it? High speed, more rotation, of, more smoke. A lot of weight in the back, obviously more friction, like you say. Really smoking up, so Christopherson, this is all about for me whether or not the leader's tyre holds out right the way until the end of the race. It's taking quite a battering. He may know, they may have told him from the sponsor's town, Solberg, Balmanis. Oh, it's flat, it's flat. Christopherson's rear left is actually flat. So that's a spot from Guy Wilkes out the window of the sponsor's town. We think it's now off the rim, which would be why it's not smoking anymore. Absolutely, so he has got a big job to do. Oh, look at it, look at it. It's an Andy Conway circuit, so he can turn left more than right. and then just got tangled. Pen has been jumped out. We will not be happy about that. This is only going to get better. Oh, Chris Johnson sideways. So strong the protraction. Balmanis wants to go through to his first ever front row if he can. But Balmanis is yet to joker. Balmanis to the joker. At perfect timing. We know Chris is struggling. Here we go. Can he get the traction on? Balmanis is coming out. Balmanis trying to come in front. Chris Johnson. Oh, contact between the Chris Johnson. Balmanis taking the gravel trap on the inside. Liam Doran's with him too. The three of rest over the finish line. Solberg runs one, it's still Chris on now Doran's into second, Bellman is down to fourth place. This is unbelievable, but that was so tunis because Christopherson backed them up. Look at Liam having a look at Petter. This is really cheeky from Liam in a 1.6 engine. He's having a go. This is unbelievable. This is possibly the best semi-final I've ever seen. We've never seen so much overtake. You don't get this in other motor sports. Don't need the joke enough to pass. Doran's done it now from Christopherson, so it's late to win this. He could, he could. We can see Liam Doran. Two torrid years going through to the front row. I'd love to see it happen. But B sends 
comfortable lead. Chris Thompson, though, with the hero drive here. Absolutely. Don't underestimate how difficult it is to drive that car with an absolutely flat tyre. He is really under the cosh. He is feeling the pressure so hard. They're breathing down his neck. There's no gaps between four cars here. You know, it's only going to get more concertina. They're doing a... Chris Thompson actually is doing Pedro a favour by slowing the other guys up and Ken Block. He's done it, Doran! Doran on the inside! Doran's gone through so much. So should they say exactly that? Ken Block is flying the flag for Hoonigan Division this weekend here now. The two back road is out, but that was Block's only chance, really, and it was only Christopherson's chance to get back. Block having a look now at Solberg. So Liam Doran is coming round in the 1.6-litre engine Mini. He's down 400 cc's, but he's up on talent here. Liam Doran looks to be going through. Block is having a look at the world champion in front of him. So yesterday, Block was in 13th. Hansen out. Block just breaks in. Looks like he's going to go through to the final. What a seven. What a race. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that home as much as we did here. That was mega. <laughs>